In today's video, I am going to share how much money we've spent so far to get the shell of our grain bin house up. I, if you're building a grain bin for farming purposes, this price will help you get so far, but then you're going to have, have to add some equipment to it. So it would help you as well uh, get an idea of what it might cost. We built a 27 foot in diameter grain bin and seven rings high and we inserted a roof and some vents on the top. So that's what we needed for a shell to be able to now start converting it into a house. You can see a picture here of how far we've gotten. And I wanted to share the cost that we have paid to get to this point. A couple people have asked that, which is a good question. Obviously it can change depending on where you live and who you buy it for, but it will give you a pretty good idea so far. I also wanted to show a little bit of video at the end of this one of my husband converting an office space in our house into a bathroom with a safe step bathtub installed in it. My mother moved in about a year and a half ago and before she came, he built this bathroom for her and right off of that bathroom there's a, a, a space for her to watch TV and has a little couch and stuff like that, a little sitting area. But I just wanted to let you see that he's um, my jack of all trades. He does a good job. Uh, he can pretty much do just about anything and it's impressive. So I want to, you to see some of his finished work as you're watching what he's doing here to show you that it's well worth watching as we create this beautiful grain bin house to use as a short-term rental. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that we had to do was go get a couple of permits for or inspections done to make sure that the piece of property we were using was allowed to have septic and well. You can't just say, I'm going to put a septic in and, and do that. Actually, there's a permit required to put those two things in as well. And those costs are not here because we haven't got the permits yet. So we did get an inspection for the septic. $210, which now that I'm thinking about it was not bad because the gentleman that came out also drew a blueprint. And while we've been looking for someone to come and put the septic in, we're debating of doing it ourselves or hiring someone. They've talked about blueprints costing up to a thousand dollars. So we were fortunate that the employee at the health department um, drew that up for us. So that was great, very well worth the money spent. We also had somebody come out to test the soil, make sure we're able to put a well in as well on the piece of property. And that was $350 to get that. So we got these two things done. Then we went to a, a farm place that sells grain bins and we wanted to buy a new one. We decided that that would be better with building the house because by the time we try to tear one down and re put it back together, we might as well just get a new one. So that cost $5,131.60. And like I said, it's uh, the diameter is 27 feet, seven rings high. That included the roof and then three vents that we're putting at the top. We had to wait a while to have that delivered. There were some manufacturing issues. So it took a good six months to even get that to come in. Um, but it is here, as you can see, everything's cool. Before we could have the grain been delivered, obviously we had to have a pad of concrete poured. And again, you can watch our playlist. It's at the end of this video where I'll go into more detail, but a pad was poured, not as heavy as a pad that would have been poured if it was being used as a grain bin. So that's what I'm saying. There's going to be extra costs if you want a grain bin to be used for grain. We are building a house, so we, we used formulas that would help with the weight of a house as opposed to grain. And we had our concrete poured for $6,670. They were able to come out in one day and get that poured. The next step, obviously it had a cure for a few days. The next step was to have them come out and build the grain bin and assemble it. That took two days. They built it onto the, the pad and they got everything together in two days. Amazing to watch. And one more expense. As you can see here in the video, everything is up, but we're not quite ready to start installing the framing and the walls and all that stuff. The next step is we're laying PVC on the concrete. Now I'm going to show you that in the video today because it did not, it's not worthy of a whole video to itself until we go and put the rest of the system and you'll see this again. But we spent $140 on the PVC and the little clips that we had to use and drill bits to get that laid out on the floor. I wanted to share very quickly why did we decide on the radiant heating when we went and bought the grain bin he talked about the seal 
around the bottom where the, the grain bin touches the concrete, he had a friend that actually built a grain bin house and they were having problems with the seal along the bottom and the moisture getting in. So my husband decided, why don't we go ahead and put radiant heating in, pour another layer of concrete for the floor, and then that will seal it automatically great idea and so you see him here in these photos putting the pvc in now the problem with that was when they lay they poured the pad it's not 100 percent level because the same company knew that they were coming back to level a floor so it wasn't as important can't blame them uh, and so my husband had to go in and level the pvc so that did take a few days for him to get that just right he also wanted to make sure that the clips were put into the concrete to hold the pvc in place for when they pour it next week we're going to show you that pour um, i think it was worthy of its own video just because i was like how are they going to pour concrete and level it inside a round building and it they did it and it, it's it's worthy to watch so i'm going to go ahead and make a video of that by itself but he's getting ready for them to come out now the, all of the costs up to this point without that concrete the second concrete floor is twenty eight thousand eight hundred and one dollars and sixty cents we did pour it and i'm going to show you that next week but it was another third three thousand one hundred eighty five dollars so all the way up to the point where the concrete floor is leveled and poured the pvc's in a couple of doors are cut out it's ready to start converting into a home it was thirty two thousand dollars so i just wanted to give you that price of okay we're ready now to start framing and making it livable so there you go that answers that question now one thing that i want to share before i close this video is i just wanted to give you an idea uh, show you a project that my husband did in the house like i uh, shared with you in the beginning he took this office that was mine um, but you can see here how he um, had to build a wall to separate this space from her sitting space he put an arch in so that um, it was pretty and he put a barn door he installed a safe step bathtub on the one wall he had to go under the house and do all the plumbing for that so you can see he's pretty much a jack of all trades i came in i do the painting um, he gets the walls ready i just paint and now you can see we've got it all finished he's got a pretty uh the sink and the tub and the pretty curtain on the window for mom so it, it came out to be a, a really nice area for her now i'm that's it for today next week i will show you the pour of the concrete over the pvc and then i'm going to talk about how do we go about planning going from here did we buy some blueprints what did we do um how do we know what we're doing from here and i'm going to share some of the thought process there and where we're going with the details. You have a blessed day and thank you for watching.